Today, we will venture through the forgotten lands of a Portuguese palace that once used to belong to Mr. Jose. At first, we thought that this place would not be of much interest to us, but this couldn't be further from the truth. We discovered multiple extraordinary Portuguese palaces, an awe-inspiring chapel, and a medieval castle. And as sherry on the cake, we found an underground passageway that led us to paradise. Hundreds of years of history unfolded itself in front of our eyes. The property was constructed at the end of the 19th century by Mr. José. A man who has made his fortune in the country of Brazil with the trade of religious artifacts. With the revenue of his company, he constructed the property in the hometown for his family and the community. He even had close ties with the Pope Leo XIII, who visited the grounds regularly. Mr. José was a well-respected man. During his lifetime, he even obtained the title of Count. And until this day, they still talk about his contributions to the town. After José rose to heaven in 1925, the property fell into the hands of many owners, but eventually got neglected and lost in time. Let's start off. We are starting here in the entrance halls of this place of Mr. José, the Portuguese Count. You can see this place is magnificent. Had lots of decay because it's abandoned for around 40 to 50 years right now. But believe me, what we are going to see today is just amazing. And the history about it is even more incredible. Just push open this door and we come into some sort of a living space, living area. Unfortunately, there's no furniture left anymore in this place. It has been taken out, but uh, the place itself has so much detail that it's absolutely worth filming. You can see the ceilings and the walls itself are completely designed. Every little corner has been metic meticulously designed and crafted and created by incredible artists. But I just want to show you first outside of the window because this is the property we're going to explore today. In the middle there, there's a chapel. To the sides, there are houses for family and uh, for mates and stuff like that. There's even caves on this property. It's gonna be one of the longest explorers I've ever done, but uh, I'm excited for it. And let's go through this house. This was the main house of the place. This was the house of Count José. These three rooms, this one over there, this one and this one, were connected with each other and were probably the living space of this house, the main living rooms. You can see the decay after those 40 years of abandonment is really present. The whole floor over there has broken down into the basement. We're going to carefully take a look at it. I don't think I have to go. Just show you. It goes right into the basement of this house. So I'm not going to walk on here too much. But yeah, what an, a fantastic room over here. Imagine it being filled up with furniture back in the day. The Count sitting here together with the Pope, just discussing some stuff, probably talking about religion and business as well. Besides Mr. José being very religious, he also was a true businessman. And he was one of the biggest sellers of religious items and religious artifacts around Portugal and probably around the world back in the day. And that's where he got his fortune from and that's how he could build place like this. Let's enter back into the hallway and uh, 
check out the other rooms. Oh my gosh, we're immediately greeted by an incredible stairway. Before we go up there, let's first take a look in these last rooms that are downstairs here. I can see, wow, this is crazy. This is a little bathroom, completely made out of marble. Have a look at this. And then over here, we have another little room with two, this real probably two cabinets built into the wall. But have a look at this beautiful Portuguese style. There are lots and lots of flies around, uh, flying around here. Oh my gosh, I don't think you can pick it up on the camera. It's like hundreds in here. And here we can get another sense of the backyard. How overgrown it has become over the last years. There are a few arches back there, but I can't probably walk there because it's completely overgrown. Let's now take a stroll up the stairway together. Wait. Just have a look at the size of this place. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it's enormous, this hallway. Wow. I gotta give you some sort of a perspective. Let, let me try, let me try. I'm gonna put the camera down here, point it up. Just let you show, show you the ceiling, like that. And I'm gonna stand here. <laughs> Crazy, right? Crazy. Wow. Let's go up. The stairway to the top floor. Every little inch, every little nook and cranny of this place has design on it. And just walking here upstairs and I immediately notice the detail in this wall. Wow. This place is enormous. Just enormous. These were probably the bedrooms of the place. See this room. It's completely falling apart. You have to be careful walking inside of this place. The whole floor is breaking down. There's some sort of a bathroom, I think. Oh yes, we have the bathtub over here. Wow. I'm not gonna film every single room, but I think the room Danny is standing in here inside is the most beautiful upstairs. And I also believe this might have been the master bedroom, but we have to be really careful in here. You walk like this? Yeah, yeah. Like to the side? Yeah. Okay. Because everything is full. I just want to show you the balcony inside of this room. He just, then he just cracked through the floor over there. Yeah, because I tried to go around. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to put away my bag. Let me just squeeze through here. Okay. Wow. We're coming here onto the balcony, balcony of the property. This was definitely the master bedroom of this place. And we were just discussing in the distance over there. There's even a castle that the man, the count, ordered to build, also abandoned. And here you can get a great sense of the property that we are gonna film. This is probably gonna be one of my longest documentaries to date, my longest explorations ever. There's one last part we need to show in this house, and that's the attic. There's a stairway leading up here. Let's have a look up there. The house is falling, so we have to be really careful. Yeah. Probably the attic is open. Like ceiling, you mean? You see these little doors? Yeah, I was looking at those. Yeah, they're like little storage spaces. Yeah, I see them underneath here as well. Well, it's really hot up here. Oh my gosh, it's even hotter than outside. Yeah. I'm not gonna walk into here. 
you can see the floor is just literally broken. Yeah. Okay, let's explore the rest of the property. Just saw the man's Crossier's house. I can't wait to film all of the rest. Come here, I think I found something. Okay, Danny found there's something. A, there's a rumors that the house has tunnels and stuff, but I didn't saw it, but look. Oh, I didn't see this room yet. Oh my gosh. Is this the way to the tunnels? I don't know, I, I didn't go down because there are so many flies, but I think it is. It feels cold coming from yeah. there. Okay, I want to go down. Yeah. Let's try this out. Oh, wow. You can literally feel the cool air coming from here. Oh my gosh. We go into some sort of a basement with beautiful Portuguese tiles on the wall. Look at this. Wow, completely overgrown. There's even a kitchen elevator here. No, I think this is the basement, Danny. It's just the basement? Yeah, I think so. But it's beautiful. It has lots of design on the wall. You were right. I was right, right? Come, come, come. Oh my god, there's Oh like... my god. <laughs> I told you there's tunnels. Or this is something. Oh. Oh, let's go in, let's go in. I see hundreds of flies. Oh my god, this is gonna be an epic adventure. We're wandering into the tunnels of this palace. Oh my god. I've never done, never done something like this before. Whoa, this goes down. This goes deep. This, this goes real. Crazy. This goes real deep. <laughs> so Whoa, it deep keeps really. going. Echo? <gasps> it's a big room. Oh, be careful, it's flooded. No, it's not flooded. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, if there's water in here and my shoes are not watertight. Mm -hmm. Look at my shoes. <laughs> They're just sneakers. I'm gonna probably have flooded shoes after this, but I just wanna go through it. This looks like I'm in the Paris catacombs or something like it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. Be careful. You good? I don't want to go. We have to. We really have to. <laughs> this scared me. Oh, these are new shoes. It gets really narrow here. There's a one way to the left and one way to the right. A one way straight. What in the world is this? I never thought these tunnels were like this. Me neither. <laughs> I want to take this one. Oh. Take this one? <laughs> look at Leslie. Literally, look at me squeezing through here. The echo is crazy. Okay. <gasps> This water is incredibly deep. Danny thinks we need to go the other way. Okay, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back. The arrows lead that way, so... Yeah. You wanna go first? Yeah, sure. Okay. 
Oh, yes, guys, I got Danny with me. Check him out. Link all in the description. Yeah, that's. He just wanted to have a safe way to get from his house to the other places on the property. I think. More options. Here it says access, so probably not go that way. This is maybe drainage or something. But this doesn't seem like something a count would go through. Yeah. It's not, it's not fancy at all. It's not fancy, you know. You would expect like a tile tunnel or something like it? Yeah. I think he built this just for safety or something. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's... Oh. Mosquitoes everywhere. It's not just mosquitoes, it's so cold. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, me too. Oh god. It's completely flooded. Oh god, look at this. We should have put on some better shoes. Poor life decisions. It's hot outside, so uh, pull on my shirt, my pants as well. <laughs> Danny is always cursing in Portuguese. It's not cursing, I'm it's just not saying we're gonna be... Let God be with us. My shoes are gonna get wet. Oh, this water is... Uh, <gasps> it's freezing. This water is like uh, therapeutic, it's like the, the fountain water. Oh my god, we're inside of the, the whale. The, the big chapel in the middle no, of the no, no, property. No, no. The whale. The, we're in the well. Water. <laughs> oh my god. We're in the well. Which way should, should we go? Like? The arrow goes this way, but this looks like it goes back. But we've walked a long way already. Yeah, this is I, I think at this time we are almost there. Yeah. I think we are under the palace or something. I don't know if you want to keep going or... Yeah, I want to keep going. I want to explore these tunnels. I would, I would like to explore every single part of it, but... No, it's impossible. With the, if, it, if the arrows are, co are correct... Then this is the right way. Yeah. I am just going to do it. I don't care. Yeah, me neither. Getting deeper. Ah! Getting deeper and deeper. Wait. Oh my god, this is like. Um, be careful, be really, really careful. Slippery? If you get stuck in here. Oh, it's like quicksand. Yeah, quicksand, yeah. Oh, yes, it feels like quicksand. Yeah, oh my god. Don't stop, don't stop. Just go. Keep going. There's a light at the end. Okay, maybe another well. <laughs> My old feet are soggy. <laughs> I'm bringing water to my home. Like, whoa! I almost fell. Be careful. Oh, it goes even deeper in here. We're fucked. It literally goes even deeper. But the water is pretty really clear, so we can see. At least the water is not like water from uh, oh. pee or something. No. Water. 
I don't think we can go further, so... I'm it's, going. It's, it's getting deeper and deeper into... I'm going until I can't stop. I am already... I let my pants get wet, I don't care. Guys, don't do this. <laughs> this is crazy. See, we could go further. <laughs> ah, this feels refreshing, actually. No, it isn't. <laughs> I'm very curious where we're gonna, gonna come out. Me too, I... It looks like we're going into paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It looks like uh, tunnels, like the Bones. tunnels under the mountains, you know? Where are we gonna end up? That's the question, guys. Oh We're my going God, into so many mosquitoes. Yeah, be careful. Ah. Oh. Ah, watch out. It's the land of mosquitoes. We're going into some sort of a lush garden. Oh my God. Oh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Whoa. Sorry for cursing, but... Oh my god. god! This place is so beautiful. Man, I never did such crazy thing. I never, like... This look feels like... I'm in a movie. I, I just don't, don't have any words for it. Look at the statue up here. This is not natural, this is man-made. Yeah, this is, is, is man-made. This is fake, but it's so, so beautiful. Wow. <sighs> Need to take a sip of water. Literally almost crying. This, this is... <sighs> I've been doing this, exp this exploration and this hobby for around six years right now. And it's, it's literally my most favorite thing in life. You never, never can expect what you're gonna find when you go to abandoned places and explore. We went through tunnels of a Portuguese count that lived here in the 1900s with his family and he had literally a paradise at the end of the tunnels. I'm just imagining myself seeing the count here, walking around in his gardens, probably together with Pope Leo the Eighth, the Ninth, excuse me, no, the Eighth. This is something I want to do for the rest of my life. This brings me so much joy and all of you watching this, make this happen for me. And I hope I can share a little bit of the experience that I have while exploring this place. I sound very excited, but I am. And it, the video doesn't do justice what, I, what we are seeing here. This is, this is out of this world. I just had to literally stop the video for 15 minutes and sit down and just take this all in. Let's go further. Okay, I just had my moment, then he's back and he went up there and he says, I'm gonna lo lose my mind. Yeah, you're gonna lose your mind. Prepare to be ready because this is a trip. Let's, let's first show you a little bit more of the cave that we are in right now. He made this for him and his family to enjoy. And let's wander up there behind Danny and see what he just found.
Okay, through some lush gardens over here. Yeah. You see, when I came here, I thought, oh, this is the, the castle that we, we saw from the palace. Yeah. Because of this. Wait, let me just... You see this? I thought, okay. <laughs> yeah, you thought it was the castle, okay. Yeah. But... Careful. Yes. Wait. <gasps> but no. Okay, we got a stairs up here. I've never seen a viewpoint like this. Okay. <gasps> oh, that is beautiful. Let me bring it into more detail. Back there is the palace we just explored. We went all the way under the ground and now we are here yeah. at the viewpoint in the back. Oh my gosh, so much stuff in here. Let me just see. Okay, and this was a little lookout point over his whole property. Wow, tinted glass windows. You can even still see the design on them and they give you a fantastic view of the whole property. Whoa. But it's a bit, a bit of a groan by now. Nature is taking this back from the count. Yeah. This is amazing. Danny is right, I think. This place has some Chinese influence. You see the gargoyles on there? They are sort of Chinese and this, this little lookout point indeed also looks a little bit Chinese. And I think they let it overgrow by this on purpose. Yeah, because this is this is tree. years and years of nature taking it back. Even before this place got abandoned. Danny? I just saw something. I just, I just saw something. There's literally a stairway going down here. It's just hidden away. Yeah. I'm gonna explore it. Don't know about you, but... Yeah, Look at this, guys. There's literally a stairway going into the abyss. Okay. Lots of bugs here. Oh my god, there's lots of lots of mosquitoes. Watch out. Well, we're going back into the tunnels, I think. But how? The tunnels were up there. This is deeper. What is this? There's like a bag of rotten food down here. There are more tunnels. What? There are more tunnels. That way and that way. I see light at the end of this tunnel, so... Let's try it. Maybe it's the castle. But you're gonna get wet feet again. Really? Yep. Jeez, that's good. Cool. And this one looks a little bit more dirty than the other one. But this is a real tunnel, or a real fake tunnel. <laughs> it represents a real tunnel. Oh my god. Okay, I need to put up my feet again. Let's just do it. Okay, you ready? Yep. Oh, like, look, there's a little salamander in the water here, resting. Think it's dead? Oh, no, it's... it's, it's... <gasps> there it goes. Look at this, more tunnels leading to all secret places around this area. What I think that this is, Danny, this leads to the lookout. Mm -hmm. uh, to the lookout. I don't know. Wow, this water is deep. This is deep water.
come to coming into some sort of a big cave. Oh, this is deep. I don't know what this is, but there is to my side nothing here. Looks like some sort of a hangout cave. Look at what we just came from. <laughs> That's crazy. It's really crazy. I'm just literally standing until my pants in the water. <laughs> Exploring. Do it. It's fun, they say. Yeah. <laughs> We're back. We changed our clothes, bought some refreshments. It's another day, it's two days later now. And we decided to do the rest of the palace in another day. We charged the batteries because last time we filmed this place and the caves below, it took us five hours to film. And we still have to do the whole palace over there and the castle as well. So uh, it's gonna be a long day. We're gonna be here probably until midnight for filming, but it's, it's worth it and it's, it's really exciting for me. We also brought somebody with us today. Say hi. Hi. Sophia, fan of ours, and we, she wanted to come with us on this exploring trip. So uh, we're gonna show her paradise and the palace and everything. So let's explore this place. I'm really excited for it. Last time, I literally rushed into the cave. So I forgot to show you this beautiful basement. So let's go through it and show you the design. Me and Danny were just discussing that this was probably used by the workers of the place as a kitchen. This room doesn't look like a kitchen, but this was probably a preparation area. Kitchen. Let's see. There's Danny. Hi, Danny. See, Here I just run through. And uh, this is the stairway we came down from. Wow. I, I for, just forgot to show it, but it has a neat design on it. This is literally 18th century and 19th century artwork, like ironwork from that time. There are tiles on the wall here. And I also had this kitchen elevator. Wow. It's just amazing. And this room over here, we believe was the kitchen itself. You can see this is the completely collapsed room from upstairs. And it was like this uh, working sink, or it looks like a sink, but it's completely filled with rubble right now. Beautiful sink. What a place. Okay. Now it's finally time to explore the other palace, I would say, because this is a palace on itself. And the other one is even bigger, but we think that was for family and friends to come over, but we're not sure yet. So we're gonna check it out and see what's, what's over there. So let's go. Okay, now it's time to go outside, look at the gardens. Wow, here's the tunnel that we went into for the caves. But now it's time to go outside there and take a stroll, stroll through this garden and see if we can get to the palace itself. Now we're gonna take a look at the biggest building on this property, the Community Palace. Jose ordered to build this side of the property just for the people of town. Here they could come together, go to church, get food and basic healthcare. Mr. Jose grew up in this town and he wanted to give something back. Let's explore this side of the place with the greatest respect. Leo VIII and Jose used to walk together through these gardens. They have fountains in here, they had chapels in here, beautiful tile. We're gonna see it all right now. I think this is the oh I almost fell there. I think this is the pathway that leads to the palace over there. Let's walk it.
we are now coming to watch the chapel itself. The chapel that represents the middle of this uh, palace, of this property. Because this man sold religious stuff and he was very religious himself and he was good friends with the Pope, he let this building over here in the middle chapel in the middle of the uh, property be built. It's a very different looking chapel. I love the towers on top. They are just amazing. I now want to take a look inside of there and see how it looks from the inside. It looks pretty overgrown. You can see you can even go into these towers itself. Wow, that's so beautiful. Let me just show you the inside of one of these towers. There's literally nothing to see in here, but now you know what it was. Okay, it doesn't look like I can enter into the chapel over here. And there's like thorns everywhere. Luckily I'm wearing long pants today. Look at the tile on the wall. That's so typically Portuguese. Can I go in through here? Let's have a look. I see it's easier from the other side. So let's try that. Now get the first glimpse of the palace itself. We're making our way through here. Look at Danny and Sophia. They are just like both wearing shorts. shorts. Yeah, yeah shorts. not so smart. Wow. And the man, he ordered to be, to, you see the tiles here on the wall. I'm gonna tell you a little story. This man, he was like, he liked different things. He liked to be different from other people. And he wanted every single tile in this place, in this palace, to be different from each other. See the first one over here? Every single tile has its own unique design. We have another one over here. I'm going to show you more throughout the video. But here is a glimpse of already three of these beautiful tile works. Let's take a look inside of this place. You can see this is the entrance of the, the palace. Completely overgrown. Nature is taking over, creeping inside of the building. Wow. It's literally falling apart. These rooms don't look as fancy as the palace that we were just inside. As you can see. There's even straw inside of here. So probably maybe this was some animal housing. But I'm sure that this place, this part of the palace, of the, of the property, the other palace, was used for guests and that came over. I can't open this door anymore. Guests that came over, family, friends. The Pope probably slept in the big palace that we just shown you. Wow. This completely goes in a U shape around the property. And here we have a toilet full of flies. This is a really small bathtub, as you can see. But it was very common for back in the day to have such a small water. Oh, here it stops. I can't go further anymore. Give you a glimpse of the outside again. So magnificent. Let's go further. There's some berries hanging here from the tree. Just wanted to point that out. Oh wow, we come here into some sort of a garage or some sort of a horse carriage storage. As you can see, beautiful gates with authentic Portuguese ironwork on it. That's just beautiful. And in here probably would have been back in the 1800s and the 1900s horse carriages. Because this place was more of a communal space. The people of the town also were allowed to come here. Because I didn't told you, told you this yet. Excuse me, the sun is almost setting. So it's gonna be a lot of sunlight in, in the frame. But a count was also some sort of a mayor back in the day. And he used to care for the people and the people could come here. And if they needed something, they could just ask the count and he would take care of it. Some more tile work over here. 
from animals. Let's take a look inside of this room. Oh yes, I see. This was probably back in the day, some sort of a wedding hall because you can see the sliding doors over here. The people could come here, have their wedding inside of these rooms. What a magnificent space was this. This count was very rich. Really, he was a billionaire, as you would say it, in today's money. Ah, Danny and Sophia are doing some sort of a photo shoot over there. But we are now entering into a common space with the towers to the sides. And you can already see that there's some magnificent tile work here on the wall. Danny, that shot of Sophia looks amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna just show you the tile works we have here on the wall. You can see it was a traditional Portuguese village that's displayed here. Wow, some sort of a fountain in the middle. And the people just doing common things from back in the day. Riding donkeys, hunting animals. This style work on this wall over here, to my opinion, is one of the most beautiful ever, I've literally ever seen. Just how it's designed, blue tile work from back in the day, it's probably more than a hundred years old, still in great condition. I just love it. Some noble man hunting a wild pig. Insane. This part of the place, of the palace, has since completely collapsed. There's literally nothing left of it. All on the ground. You can see the tower there to the side. So sad to see that places like this are left abandoned and forgotten. Another beautiful tile work. I'm gonna show you inside of these, this tower over here. See? Nothing left of it. It just completely fell. And this is the other side of the building. Here's the main entrance. They completely bricked it up over here, so nobody could get in anymore this side as well they just wanted to protect the people and save them from falling down inside this place wow i'm not going to show the whole part of this because it's probably empty and the same but i'm going to look for some beautiful tile works on the wall to show you and then afterwards i will go inside of the church i will make my way through here and show you the inside of this magnificent piece Ah, oh, we also got some flower tile work here. Completely overgrown by ivy. This looks like there were rooms upstairs. Let's see. If we maybe can film one of those rooms. Let's go in here. Oh, this is not an entrance. No, that looks all collapsed, as you can see. Okay, let's make our way to the church and show you the inside of that. Let's make my trade through this all over here. Oh my gosh, so many dorns here. What a magnificent piece. Oh, this is one of the main entrances of the church. And this was a very communal church. Everybody of the town could come here and pray to God, probably together with the Pope sometimes. Oh, wow. Even smells good inside of here. 
I've literally never talked about it before, but literally when you go into abandoned places, they have a certain smell of them. And this smell reminds me of a church and sometimes I go in an abandoned house and it reminds me of the people that live there. It's just fantastic to, to just smell the places and it, it's just this, a feeling of its own. As you can see, this used to be a very beautiful church. There would be paintings on the wall, but they have faded over time. I'm gonna show you the ceiling right now. And over here, they had some tinted glass presenting the church. Okay, we're now back at the palace, but Danny just learned me a trick. Yeah, always, always look back. Always look back. Always. Because we didn't saw the tiles on the palace itself. And they are, the artwork on these ones is even more incredible than other ones. Look at this. On the other one, look Danny, on the other ones we saw tile work that more represented the people, the like people. normal people. Yeah. And on this one we see like royal people. Yeah, it's more royal. This is like the royal stuff at the time. They yeah. probably, people came here like that. Yeah. It was in the 1800s, so yeah. at that time it was a lot And that's more. why we also think that this place probably was, yeah, this was used for the, the count itself and for the, for the Pope and stuff like that. And the other one is just a communal place for the people of the town. Wow. I'm gonna show this tile over here as well. And we're now gonna make our way to the castle itself. And we think this is the pathway to get there. Let's go up here. The sun is already setting, so we need to hurry up a little bit. But you can see the castle popping up in the back over there. Let's head over. This is the pathway to the castle. You can see it over here. You can see the castle in the background. Let's just make our way there. Probably over like a bridge or something. <laughs> this place keeps surprising us every single time. We are not done yet. See, the castle is appearing in the distance over there. What a magnificent piece. Let's go in to the castle. It's actually a very small castle, but it's very beautiful on the inside. There's this ironwork, like the pink walls, and there's like this Cinderella staircase leading up probably to the tower of the place. I'm gonna take it up and give you a view of it. This is probably also, we're gonna end the video shortly because this was a very long documentary. Come up to another room with a few windows to look out from. And let's now head up to that top floor, to that lookout point of the castle. Wow, we see an ironwork staircase over here. I'm gonna go all the way up to the tower and give you guys an overview of the place before the sun goes down. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Now you can see an overview of the whole property in all its glory. After two days of filming, going through a cave, seeing paradise, 
having told beautiful history, batteries that are empty, hydration, dehydration, excuse me. We are just tired, but we are happy. And this is one of the most beautiful places that we have ever filmed. We hope you enjoyed this video, the history, the place itself, but I'm sure you did. If you did so, please share it with all your friends, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you want to see more of this content and if you want to share it with the world. Go down there to Patreon, there's a link to Patreon there, you can support the channel because it's very expensive to go to these places for us students. And uh, yeah, I have not much more to say, I'm just stunned and uh, I hope you were as well with this video. I want to thank you very much. I love you all from the bottom of my heart and uh, I will see you in next week's adventure. Bye bye. I love you.